Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 22 of the Mobile Networks Overview course after a very long time. Sorry for this long delay. Uh, I will um, try my best to uh, record and uh, publish the new coming episodes very soon for you. In this episode, uh, we want to talk about uh, handover uh, in EPC, handover in 4G LTE, uh, mainly focused on EPC, about packet core. And uh, we want to talk briefly about uh, what is handover, uh, what, uh, what are handover types, and uh, what, uh, what is the uh, handover process, uh, how is the handover procedure. Okay. Uh, as you remember, in uh, CS, uh, we've talked about location update, or in PS, we have talked about attach uh, scenario. But uh, uh, what is the difference between uh, location update attach or um, uh, other similar things and handover? Uh, the, the answer is this handover. You can pause this video and, uh, and, uh, and guess what's the answer. but uh, let me tell to you, handover occurs during the service. Okay, so this is the main difference. Uh, handover occurs during the service. Uh, for example, when you have the data service or you have call service and you are changing your location, handover will occurs. Occurs. Okay, and handover will happen. Uh, so this is a very short and brief definition of handover. Uh, uh, but uh, what are handover types in 4G LTE? Uh, okay, we have two uh, main types of handover: intra EU tran uh, EU tran uh, is a term as you know for 4G LTE. Uh, intra this. Uh, radio access technology uh, that this also uh, can be categorized in two uh, class x2 based handover and s1 based handover uh, so what is x2 as you remember this is the uh, system architecture evolution or sae and this is eps evolved packet system this is system architecture evolution and long-term evolution and user equipment as you can see, uh, and we've uh, talked in the uh, previous episodes in EPC introduction, I think uh, two or three uh, episodes before, uh, we've discussed that uh, there are lots of interface and each of them has a, uh, a specific pro protocol. Uh, but these two main interface uh, these two interfaces are uh, our main focus in this episode. X2, which is between two E not B, we have X2 interface, and what is the related protocol? X2 AP. So the interface is X2, and the protocol is X2 AP, X2 application protocol. You can see the protocol stack in the uh, related documents, 3 GP documents. It's very easy. Uh, Another uh, type of intra EU tran handover is S1, S1, S1 MME or S1C. But briefly, uh, we tell S1 based handover. In the first uh, case, MME is unchanged. The MME is unchanged like an anchor, and the um, subscriber is changing its location from an E node B to another E node B. So, the MME is unchanged and uh, control plane and user plane are uh, handovered and forwarded to the another X, uh, another E node B that we will discuss the uh, uh, detail signaling flow uh, later in this video. Okay, as you also can see, uh, this has also two uh, both of the control plane and user plane uh, part to e node b uh, have uh, a connection containing both control plane and user plane okay so this is the uh, this uh, provide what we need uh, for a handover because in handover both of these 
should be uh, forwarded and handover to the target node. Another type is S1C, S1 base, S1 base handover. In this case, MME or SGW can be relocated. Uh, I think uh, for for this type, in the next episode, we can talk. And uh, in this episode, we, may, we will uh, mainly focus on the first type, uh, which is X2 based handover and uh, one real scenario like the previous uh, episode uh, on Wireshark, the real uh, scenario of uh, real network for you. Okay. Uh, another um, type of handover is inter-RAT, inter-radio access technology handover. For example, between LT and other uh, generations or other technologies like between 2G, LT, 2G, 3G, uh, and Wi-Fi, WiMAX, so on. Okay. And maybe in the next uh, in the next couple of episodes, we also talk, have a brief talk about this. Okay. So let's go on the on this first part, X2 base handover. Let's see how and how it uh, will happen. As you can see, you are uh, I think you are now very familiar with this signaling flow, and uh, there are many uh, of these uh, follow, uh, flows in 3GPP documents that you can write now, I think after these 22 episodes that you can be uh, familiar with them and uh, understand them. Okay, here uh, we have a user equipment. This is source in B, this is target in B, MME, SGW or S gateway and P gateway. Uh, here, uh, when the subscriber is, uh, when the subscriber user, user equipment is getting far from this source in B and the radio quality is becoming down many uh, calculations is done and that it is very uh, customized and specific in the radio part but that we can uh, we not go through the details you can uh, read and study lots of videos about them on the YouTube I also recommend you many uh, talented and uh, uh, expert Indian uh, especially Indian uh, experts uh, have many good videos on the YouTube, uh, YouTube that I also watched that was really useful but uh, since our main focus are, is on uh, core part we don't go through these, those details so uh, when the um, radio quality is becoming down uh, handover preparation handover preparation signal is uh, sent from source in node B to target in node B and then uh, the handover execution will happen this source in node B will forward if this accept target in node B accept this then it will forward some data to this uh, target in node B this data is not doesn't mean the data of the subscriber until this uh, we, all, we just have uh, transferring some signaling data, some uh, control data. After this, uh, we can see that uh, handover completion will happen. And uh, if everything goes well, we can see that we have uh, downlink data here from uh, UE directly to the target in B. And also, we can see that uplink also here. Then, the target in B will send a pass switch request to the MME. Okay. Then, it is clear that uh, MME should send a modified bearer request to the SGW because the information of tunnel the direct tunnel should be changed and uh, it is very clear because target in node B has been changed so uh, at this step step 2 it will send modify there are requests uh, containing the uh, information of uh, the new bearer or new tunnel and then SGW when uh, received 
this information, acknowledge and respond uh, with response to this message. And here we have see uh, we will have also downlink data, uh, and we can see that we have an end marker pass, uh, and in this step, MME will answer to this request with path switch request acknowledgement and it will uh, release the resource when everything goes uh, well and uh, uh, this uh, and we have done this step so it's time to release the resources of source in ODB. then target in ODB send the release resource uh, to the source in ODB to release the resources of that and in this step we have a tracking area update procedure because after handover uh, get completed we also should update the MME should also be updated about the uh, new tracking area okay so it was a brief uh, signaling flow about the procedure of x2 base and okay so sorry uh, this is this pen sometimes uh, working slowly so let's go through a real scenario here uh, you can see that uh, we have a uh, but uh, in this scenario uh, has some failures and uh, I select this for you to see also the fail uh, call, uh, fail call and fail scenario. Here we can see that we have an authentication request. An answer is the start of each scenario. Uh, some of them is uh, repeating two times. It's the fault of the mirroring or capturing, at, and it's not the standard procedure. Then uh, we can see a security mode command. Uh, that we have we, we, will, we have discussed it in uh, previous episodes this uh, uh, these are steps all the all these are steps uh, when I uh, talked about uh, EPC attach okay I think in the episode 19 or 20 and uh, here we have uh, it is uh, from 1 to 16 it is related to a attach scenario this the user equipment uh, tries to attach the network and here we can see uh, we have uh, we are trying to uh, attach the network here location of the request to the hss answer create session request answer and so on and here we have uh, we see that attach is accepted in the mme and an attach complete but one uh, one interesting thing that here uh, as you saw in this picture handover preparation or handover required we see here handover uh, handover uh, required handover required we see here radio network uh, so what is the cause it is uh, s1 intra system handover okay uh, it is the s1 uh, based handover but no problem uh, we just want to see the uh, failure cause but we see that many times it is it is happening many many times several times and again uh, it is continuing to uh, generate error but uh, what is the problem so let's open these this is these are the protocol stacks we see data link uh, ip internet protocol uh, transport protocol which is SCTP stream control transmission protocol which you know that as in uh, as we know this is very popular and reliable protocol for uh, signaling in high reliable um, purposes like telecom and tele telecommunication and mobile networks it is widely used and here we can see that we have S1 application protocol and they were required due to uh, some uh, radio quality uh, and uh, we can see all the uh, 
calls as one intra system handover triggered okay and uh, there are many uh, lots of parameters if you needed the uh, uh, if you want uh, wanted to have this uh, Wireshark, please send me an email. Uh, I will uh, put my email address and other information in my caption or comment. Uh, I will send this to you. Okay. But after this handover required, uh, we see that a failure, handover preparation failure. But why? What is the reason? Why it is unsuccessful? We can see in the last layer unsuccessful outcome. So why? And the preparation failed. And we can go through the details. Aha, uh -huh. and the target not allowed. So uh, what do you think about this reason? This reason means that the handover target cell is not defined in MME and uh, it is a fault. Uh, they should or the, this network should add the target cell also in the enemy to prevent this uh, uh, this type of failure to happen okay and uh, because uh, and the reason that I uh, purple uh, that I show you this uh, scenario and this example was uh, to involve you in a very uh, simple troubleshooting case and uh, when for example if this is a real network and you are you were in this network you can ask uh, the EPC core network expert to add the uh, this cell that is, is uh, failing to be handover uh, in the MME and the problem will be solved you can easily find the uh, information of the uh, target in OSB in this uh, in this Wireshark pickup file. Okay, uh, it was a very uh, little and brief introduction and overview about uh, handover, handover types, and the uh, uh, procedure of handover uh, just for X2 base handover. And uh, in the next episode, I think uh, we will cover uh, some concept about. S1 based handover and some other supplementary concepts and so on. Uh, I hope this uh, this uh, session would be useful and informative for you. If you liked it, don't uh, forget to subscribe in the channel and recommend to your friends and colleagues who are interested to learn uh, uh, mobile networks and other uh, emerging technologies, the telecommunication and the next uh, and in the later uh, i will also publish some uh, videos on ai artificial intelligence and so on okay have a good time see you bye